Hey guys, I'm here recording on my iPhone. Today, if you read the title, the video is about brain foolishness. I don't know why I'm talking so slow. So, let's start this. Uh, it's a video by Brave Blue Wilderness, the guy Coyote, um, Coyote Peterson. He's a pretty popular guy. He has 50 million subscribers. He's way more subscribers than me. So I'm not trying to make this video to hate on him. This is something that intrigued me. It's a 14-minute video. It's called Snapped. It's a Bad Bite. One year ago. So, let's get into it. Turning down all the volume all the way. I'm going to have clips playing when I edit this. So, Joseph... Don't fall asleep and forget this. But basically, it starts off, and it's a clip of him jumping into a pond, and you see a turtle snap at the camera. And then you see a mark of his finger bleeding. Took a bite. I got a lot of blood coming out of my hand right now. And the intro plays. Did it, did it, did Pause and stuff like that. And so, my confusion is the fact that he's got every video like this. And it's just so beautiful to me. Like, so my sister, we were on like a rampage of just watching his videos. She made a sweater also, Minecraft sweater, which is where we just wear some laundry, but still. So, like I was saying, we watched this and she was like very confused. Just because the fact that this man just, you know, Jump on the stabbing turtle and bit off, and then you see, like you know, the tip of his finger bit off, and he shows no pain. So, what I really forget is that if you see other videos of him getting stung by, okay, for example, there's a video of him getting stung by a, a I forgot it's called like a, like a regular, a regular hornet or something like that. That's in like any sort of any suburban neighborhood. I'll probably show of uh, the name of the thing in my editing, saying how stupid I am. Anyways, yeah, so he got stung like that, and it was a reaction that was very different than the reaction of him getting the tip of his finger bitten off by a stabbing turtle. Like, it's, four, it's not already 19 seconds in the video, and I'm already so confused. So, let's figure out how he got his um, tip of his finger bitten off by a stabbing turtle. Let's continue this madness. So, Dragon Tail, but continues it. So, the picture of a stabbing turtle. Woo! And then it talks about, you see him doing some stuff. And shows pictures of water. I mean, I'm not going to show all this. And then it shows him jumping on the turtle. And then rustling. And then his hat. And he gets snapped. And then it shows, and basically it's, it's basically a whole video of him talking about how he dealt with snappy turtles. We don't need to, it's already in, pretty insane, but like. Skip to like two minutes, fifteen nine seconds. So he's talking. He's, I'm trying to be like. So he knows this turtle that he has found. Um, I forgot his name, but he is. I think he tagged this turtle or something. Currently reside. You guys know the turtle I'm looking for. Maybe you remember a little episode where I caught Stump Beak. Yeah. Fifty-four pound turtle. So, three years later, he wants to figure out how much the turtle is growing. Pretty normal, yeah. Let's continue this. Dragons, including the infamous stump beak. I was originally introduced to this turtle by wildlife photographer Carl Hassel, who captured photographic evidence of this giant reptile several years ago. During the first season of Dragon Tales, I managed to land the beast, and he tipped the scales at fifty. So we see the turtle, which is the name is Stumpy. Moving around right behind a giant log. Let's see what his logical explanation is. Log, I see Stumpy. He is actually moving into the shallows, likely claiming dominance of that territory. And again, right now it's breeding season, guys, so these snapping turtles are duking it out, dragon power, fighting each other for the rights to breeding territory. And the giant has just moved back into that corner. Okay, let's get the. So, he just said, this man just said, that is breeding season. So they're duking it out for land. So let's see what his logical explanation is. So they're fighting, basically. So 
Philip's man's logical idea is like, hmm, I just want to know what's going on with your head. So basically, you're left with these decisions. Huh, two turtles are fighting over land, and, you know, stabby turtles are very dangerous. They kill somebody if they really try. They've hurt me before because I've had experience with them. They've bit me, and it hurts like a son of a gun. So what should I do? I should go into the middle of a fighting breeding round to go catch Stumpy. This man's a genius. If I could land this behemoth for a second time, there was a chance he could become the living world record for a wild-caught common snapping turtle. The record currently hails at 76.5 pounds. And they So he's trying to get the world record for a wild caught snapping turtle. And then he shows a little clip of him having a turtle in a bag and it's hooked with a weight tool. Now, I don't understand. So in my mind, it's mid a year ago. How did he get flagged? Like, I'm not, okay, let me just put this out real quick. I'm not throwing hate to the video. He seems to be really successful. He has some subscribers. 15.4 million subscribers. I'm not hating on him. It's just I, it's just funny to see what he does. That's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. But the main pet peeve I have with this is that I'm not looking at the camera when I'm talking. And also, that PETA does all this stuff. But when a man puts the turtle in a bag and measures it, they don't react. That kind of just was a little thing I just thought about just now. So let's continue this video. Twenty-three pounds in three years, most likely. But this turtle, who we all know is Stumpy, have gained twenty-three pounds in three years. Look at how massive this turtle is. Only a successful catch would tell. So he's trying to catch Stumpy after three years. See how much it's grown. He's trying to get the world record. Let's continue. Do a little bit of skipping. Let's stop here. Okay, he jumped on the kayak, he jumped on a log, and then the man jumps on a turtle. <laughs> and grabbed the bite show. Let's stop it there. This man's Mario. He's Mario with a cowboy hat. Because Besides Mario, I think it's a smart idea to be like, I'm gonna jump on a snapping turtle while they're fighting. I just, <laughs> I just don't know. And he's screaming. Now he's dragging it out of the water. The poor turtle, like me, please, man. I know you are, man. Just let me. What's going on? And your turtle, just swimming. And then a big Caucasian man with a cowboy hat and a beard jumps on you and starts dragging you. He's probably scared. He is probably just. Poop is coming out of his pants right now. I'm surprised he didn't get sprayed by poop. And he's saying he's not trying to get bit by another turtle because the turtle underneath him right now. So basically, let me just explain this. I talk really fast. I'm sorry about that. I'll explain it in a slower manner. He jumped on the turtle like a Mario man, except it, the turtle didn't, he didn't, the turtle didn't go into his shell, and then he kicked it and fly out, and it just started going back and forth. No. He jumped on it and started dragging it while they're in the middle of the fight. So there's the turtle under him right now. Under him currently, there's the turtle. So let's see what happens. The turtle underneath his foot. And his boat is sinking away. No one's going to no stop that. Oh no. There's this poor this poor clip of the turtle. If you look if you zoom in close, you see the turtle's like mouth is open. Like, ah. He's like trying to snap this man because he wants to escape, you know. He just wants to have a children. He just wants to live his legacy. Cause in a human, if someone grabs you and starts dragging you by your tail while you're like you don't have a tail by your leg while you're swimming in the beach, you would be scared. And if he just puts you in a bag, weighs you and throws you back in the beach, you would be confused, but you would be like, nah, I wanna make my mark in this world just in case it happens again. So that's just like something I thought about. Okay, he's double dragon right now. He's digging through the water with his nasty hands. And he got bit by a stabbing turtle. Now I got two things to do right now. Check if I'm still recording, which I am. Now, 
to react. Huge turtle underneath my foot. Huge turtle in hand. Okay. This is definitely, definitely a dangerous scenario right here. Got him! I see that. Or one. And there goes my boat. Not good. I have another huge turtle underneath my foot as well. Double dragon scenario here. Part two. Hold on. Ow! Took a bite! Took a bite! So just now he got bit by a stabbing turtle on his middle finger. And they'll show later, I'll probably show a picture of this. His finger is like ripped and it's it's like the tip is ripped, so it's gonna fall off if he got bit again. So his reaction is Ow. Ow. It's, a bite. it's a bite, it's a bite. Bad bite. Bad bite. So the reaction is ow, ow, it's a bite, it's a bad bite. Here's a video of him trying to get pinched by a lobster. And I'll probably show the clip. He is screaming bloody murder at the end of the video when he gets pinched by a little lobster. But when the tip of this man's finger gets bitten off, and it's barely hanging by a piece of skin, his reaction is to, ah, it's a bad bite. <laughs> Okay, well, he picked up the giant turtle, skipped through a little bit, running around with the turtle. I want to end it there. So, he's weighing it. He's basically just weighed it, and that's it. So, since I don't want anything bad to happen to my channel, I'm going to link his channel in the description. Go check him out. He's not a bad guy. I find it pretty interesting. I just... Me and my sister's big pet peeve about him is that he overreacts to bite sometimes. And maybe he's not. We won't know until we feel it. But sometimes we feel like he's overreacting it. I feel like if he would give an honest example of the pain, it would be a better video. But his channel is pretty interesting. I think the big opposite is when he gets sting, he overreacts it. And then when his tip of the finger gets bitten off, he underreacts it. So that's my first video where you guys seeing my face and me talking about a topic that I want to talk about. Not a big topic. I don't want to talk about anything big because I only have 37 subscribers. I did change my name. I just turned into Anticom because Anticom Games is basically just one topic. And I want to be known for more. So I want to play games. But at the same time, I want to do other stuff on my channel. So, hope you guys enjoy. Two. Three. Ow. Did you get there? Got me there, yeah.